everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is katie if you did not know now you do and in today's video we are going to be looking at the book versus tv show adaptation of pretty little liars which one's better what are the differences what do we think let's get started so we're gonna flash to past katie who's been vlogging about reading taking notes all that kind of jazz we're gonna see where she's at with this and we're gonna get started we are about 150 pages into Pretty Little Liars, so that's about halfway-ish. I actually started reading this a couple days before I started the video, so I already know a bit. I've, I've already started in the book. Um, I'm on about chapter 14, I think, of Pretty Little Liars. I have to watch the first season, or at least the first couple episodes. I'll have to look it up, too. I'm not sure if... The first book is like just the first season or if it's the first couple episodes i don't know what the book ratio to tv show is so i'm gonna have to look that up so far though it's i mean i'm gonna take notes and everything but so far it's pretty accurate to the first season from what i remember anyways we'll figure that out um later there's a couple things that i'm making notes about that are different but yeah i don't know it's pretty accurate not fully, but, you know, I mean, for a book to TV show adaptation, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, about halfway. I have a little bit more to go. Uh, I'm super tired tonight, so I don't know how much more I'm going to read. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm very tired. But, yeah, so I'm probably going to read a little bit more. I'll give you an update when I stop reading next. So it's about two hours-ish later. I read 10 more chapters, so I'm on chapter 24 now. We're about to start it. Um, I'm going to put the book down for the night and go to bed. So I have my handy dandy notebook, as we all know. I jotted down a bunch of notes, a lot of notes, apparently. <laughs> and they're just things that like I remember being different or... Just, like, scenes I don't remember being there. Uh, I'll read you, like, a couple just as an example. So, like, Emily in the book is a white woman and a redhead. She's not, like, a person of color. Ren in the book, Melissa's boyfriend, is... He's British. He's still British, but he's Asian. His name's Ren Kim, and he's an Asian man. He's not, like, a white man. Um, which I think Ren is white in the show, if I'm remembering correctly. A, a white man?! No! Emily's mom is kind of racist towards Maya, it sounds like, in the book. Using, like, th like those people type of, you know, sentences or whatever. There's, like, the Noel Khan party. And Emily has a sister in the book named Carolyn. I don't remember that in the show. And basically everything about Ezra and Arya. Yeah, I'm gonna pause for now. I think I only really have... I think I only have, like, nine chapters left until the book's over so i'm gonna pause for the night i'm gonna take me and my cherry dr pepper here are gonna watch some mia maples um i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna go to bed so that's my book update so far it's actually really good i really like the book again it's one of those things though where i wish i had known that it was a book before it was a tv show um, because as I'm reading the book, I'm like, that's not what happened in the TV show, and I hate that I'm thinking that. Because normally I'm that bitch that's like, that's not how it happened in the book. But now I'm doing that, but with the TV show, it's really weird. Um, but yeah, so that was my update. I'm gonna go and watch TV and then go to bed. So I will come back when I start reading again, or when I have another book update. So I'm back home from work. I'm just gonna get some food real quick and get ready to like lay down and then I'm gonna read a little more. I think I'm gonna finish the book tonight and if that's the case, I'm gonna start the show tonight as well. Tomorrow's my last day of work for the week, which is so nice because the kids are, they're crazy today. They're like literally insane. Oh my God, that looks so stupid. Anyways, they're literally insane this week. So decided that the vibe drink wise is I'm probably gonna have a coffee and I know what you're probably thinking you're probably thinking 
isn't that gonna make you like more awake actually it won't because for some reason at least keurig coffee it makes me like more tired like espresso sure that'll help me for a little bit energy drinks sure a little bit but like the minute and it's like a, a brewed coffee hits my system i feel like i'm just i'm so tired which part of me is like no don't do that like read try to start the show and then the other part of me is kind of like i'm i had a rough day i'm very tired just finish the book and go to bed so i don't know and i have to do stuff tomorrow before work so we're just gonna have to play it out and see mention this in any other clips but I did read a little bit at work I didn't film because I work with children and there's like a whole law about that um but I made it to chapter 26 and I even took some notes on a little sticky note to put with my my notebook so I'm on chapter 26 I'm almost done so I think we're gonna finish it tonight and then we should be able to go straight to the show tonight too I think this a couple chapters I, I don't think it will take me that long Okay, you guys, so I finished Pretty Little Liars, the book. I'm thinking that the first book is only the first episode of season one. I might watch a couple extra episodes in, but, and again, I said at the beginning, spoiler alert, the book ends with the girls getting the text from A at Ali's like memorial, funeral, whatever. And then they see Toby and Jenna again for the first time. There are a couple things when reading the book, I was like, I don't remember it being like this. So it wasn't anything crazy. It was just like, like, there. a lot of it was more like littler stuff. Some of it was like whole scenes I don't remember seeing in this show, which is why I'm going to watch the first two episodes, I think, just to see how it all plays out. So a big one was in the, in the book, like the last couple chapters when... Spencer's parents find out that she kissed Ren, Melissa's boyfriend, the doctor that was gonna move in with her, whatever. I don't remember that scene in the show very well, and I thought that that scene was later on in the show, because in the book it happened. this is all like, most of this is what I remember from like the first episode or two. I don't remember them catching her with Ren, and if they do, it's like farther away. And also the way they talk to her, I mean, yeah, she kissed her boy- her sister's boyfriend whatever first of all melissa is a b word second of all they literally were like oh i'm ashamed to call you my daughter blah 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 and it's like the way that these parents are with their kids are these are terrible parents right here terrible and then there was like mrs Marin sleeping with um officer wilden to get hannah out of trouble so there's just a couple different ones that i'm kind of like do i remember that happening that way or Maybe, because I haven't watched the show in a really long time. I haven't watched it since the last season aired and I finished it. So now I'm going to get HBO Max. I'm going to do it on my laptop and then just put it together on my TV. Logging into an HBO account on a TV or any account on a TV is super difficult. Okay, so HBO Max is downloaded um, and paid for. So I'm going to get it set up on my TV and then we're going to start watching the first episode together. 
I'm not gonna like record the entire episode because these episodes, if I remember correctly, are like literally 50 minutes long. Not me having to cut out like six minutes of footage of me just sitting here. Okay, hold on. We're getting there, guys. Okay, I got it. I got it, y'all. Okay, so it's all set up. I'm gonna close my laptop now and we are gonna get started on Pretty Little Liars. I am only about I want to say 10 20 minutes in and there's already some bigger differences than I recall there being so the biggest difference so far is the age they're at in the book they are the book starts with them in seventh grade drinking smoking cigarettes like doing all this crazy shit at like seventh grade which is like 13 maybe if i'm remembering my ages correctly so in and then there's a three-year age jump like a like time jump to get them to be about 16 ish in the in the show i'm i'm assuming they're around 14 15 because aria has only gone for a year and so instead of three years it's a year time jump so i think they round out to be about the same age 16 ish in the book and in the show but the time don't the time difference sorry is like two years shorter aria and ezra still meet in a bar but the questioning between aria and ezra is a little different in the show it just seems like aria is like blatantly lying but in the book i feel like it almost feel felt like a miscommunication at first it doesn't make it right but at first anyways they still do the make out in the bathroom so and then when we see the first interaction between the girls since Ali's disappearance, we see in the book, I think it, in the book, I think it was Hannah and Spencer, but they didn't really talk. They just kind of like made eye contact and wave. In the show, it was a lot more friendly, less awkward. Like they're friendly, but they're not friends kind of thing. Emily and Arya's interaction is immediately like in the book, they kind of avoid each other and they like don't talk to each other and they're like really awkward with each other. But I definitely think in the show, they're kind of instantly buddy buddy they kind of instantly just click back and the first message we see from a is to aria like 10 minutes in about kissing teachers but yeah so now we are watching emily talk with her mom so i'm gonna keep t taking notes and i will come back when i've got more to talk about So I am currently on, I think like the fourth or fifth episode. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for the acne patch and the hand covered in band -Aids. Let's not talk about it. So I think I'm on the f end of the fourth episode, beginning of the fifth. I'm not quite sure. It's like one in the morning right now. So I'll go more into it later. But the first the book, the first book is really like the first episode's like half the first book. And then there's a lot of there's a couple scenes from the first book put in the second book or in the in the second episode. Sorry, I'm so tired. The big one is in the book the party. There's a party scene where Hannah crashes um, Sean's car. First of all, Mona was supposed to be in that car with her. She was not. I think that was more to add to like Mona and Hannah like to show that they're separating a little bit in the show. And then there's a lot of stuff in the show that's just like not in the book at all. In, at the end of the first book, we see Jenna and Toby, and we don't meet, we don't get to see Toby until the second or third episode. I think it was like end of the second episode that we don't see Toby until then. But we see Jenna in the first episode. Um, and I do want to throw a quick trigger warning out because what I'm going to talk about next is a little, I mean, triggering. So in the book, the first book, we see 
early on a lot of Hannah's eating disorder, which I believe was bulimia. We haven't seen that, I'm again, like five-ish, four-ish episodes in, we haven't seen that yet in the show. In the show, Hannah's dad has only been gone for a year and he already has a new fiance and a new daughter um, that, you know, it's heavily implied he likes more than Hannah. He only really comes back to talk to Hannah because of crashing Sean's car. And right now I'm in the show, a part of the show where we just find out, or Arya's mom just found out about the affair. Um, not from Arya, but from a letter from A. And somebody broke into Spencer's house and made like a little coffin out of the dirt from Ren. I really want to emphasize, while I am very attracted to Ezra Fitz, his relationship with Arya, and same with Ren and Spencer, their relationships are not okay. Ren is supposed to be like 20 something years old, it, like like trying to be a doctor and Ezra is literally Arya's teacher and I understand the whole you know lie about her age whatever that doesn't make it right that they're continuing it and unfortunately we were like when the show came out I mean I guess it wasn't it was more of like a fantasy when the show came out but it's grooming it's grooming it's still inappropriate I mean had they I would I honestly kind of wish maybe they were like adults when they met because they would be they'd be so good but obviously them being kids is really, really gross. I honestly, I do wish that the book, I hated how young they were for everything in the book. Like in the book, it was like they were in seventh grade kissing their sister's old boyfriends and like drinking and smoking and partying. I'm like, what seventh grader does that? The person who wrote this has not been in seventh grade in a really long time. The show is a little more accurate, making it 14, 15, like 15, 16 year olds. But at the same time, like when I was 15, 16, I was at home crying over Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Gilmore Girls. So, so far, the only episode that was really like the book was the first one. And a lot of major plot points that I think should have stayed before Allie's funeral were moved to after like the party. And then the scene, the scene where Ben, Emily's boyfriend, sexually like attempts to essay her. That, that scene wasn't in the book. The original scene was is they start to like all kind of get these texts from A, whatever. And then there's the Noel Khan party where Hannah and Mona crash, drive Sean's car around drunk and crash. And at the exact same time, Maya and Emily go into the booth and they kiss. And Emily's already thinking she might be a lesbian. And then Ben catches them. And then that's how they break up. After all of that is when the funeral is and they find the body because they're like making a tennis court not a like cello i mean i guess that part's not really that important but yeah so i'm gonna stop at episode six for the video at least or episode five i think i'm on five right now i'm gonna stop at the end of this episode for the video i'll come back in the morning and give you my final thoughts but there's quite a few differences i haven't read the second book i might pick it up in my free time but i probably won't for this video if i want or if you guys want a part two i can make a part two i'll update you in the morning after i watch this episode and after i get some sleep good night everybody okay everyone we're back final thoughts so pretty little liars book we'll put book here book versus tv show which one is better i i'm not sure listen so the book and the tv show other than the first episode are very different and then a lot of the stuff that happened in the book i think should have stayed happening before ali's funeral but at the same time it does make sense having it happen afterwards like hannah crashing sean's car could be like a oh she just found out her friend's dead trauma response sure but i still feel like that scene would have been really good before finding out about ali and everyone just seemed to click really well as soon as like Arya got back and in the show anyways and I feel like in the book having it till the last minute almost added an extra layer of like I don't want to say suspense because I don't think that's right but an extra layer of oomph if you will. Book versus TV show what do we think? The last time I watched Pretty Little Liars I would like to point this out I was in high school watching the show as an adult regardless some of the storylines as an adult you're watching it and you're like what the is this? Why was this done? Who approved this? That's kind of how I'm feeling right now with the 
um, Ezra and Arya storyline and even Ren and Spencer. I do wish though in the show they had kept Ren's ethnicity Asian. I feel like that could have just been some really a really cool area to include more diversity. I am happy though that they made Emily um, a person of color. I like that they did add some diversity in some places but I feel like they should have maybe kept Ren the same and kept it in some other places. I still hate Melissa. She sucks. Just the way Melissa is with her whole sister, it's really frustrating. And like I said last night, they don't touch on Hannah's eating disorder at all in the first like four episodes. Like I feel like you get a hint at it, but they don't touch on it. Arya, still keeping the secret for her dad, but Arya's mom doesn't find out in the book, but in the show it's episode like four, I think, where her mom gets a letter from A and is like, Byron, what book or TV show, what, which one would I prefer? I think, I'm trying to think, I don't really know. I'm leaning towards, hmm, that's a good question, I don't know. Again, my one of my faults with this is that I watched the show before I realized it, they started out as books. So for that reason, I do have kind of a skewered, not view, of the series but like kind of so i think i'm gonna say i think i'm gonna say tv show not for the reasons you think you know I, I watched it first the book is still really really good i might pick up the second one and then that will probably change my mind i just feel like the book did a lot of no you know what i'm going back on that book i'm going back on that book because the book did more like story building and world building and the show just kind of jumped right in we didn't get any backstory we didn't get we, we barely got some flashbacks that was it we didn't get like a full backstory which i know they didn't do that in the show for like suspense reasons and to like so they could keep finding out more secrets about ali but i think i liked it better in the book where we at least got like a little bit of backstory so i'm gonna go book book wins winner winner chicken dinner that's my video on book versus tv show adaptation pretty little liars edition if you want to see more like this just let me know comment whether or not you've a read the book or b you prefer the book or the tv show how do we feel about who ad was let me know what you think um thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye for this. Never been one to not follow the signs. You're looking like.